Today, I want to introduce very much to my friends, one of my youngest partner during the ABT time. I danced with him not so long time, but very memorized time. Very handsome, very talented person. Now he's directing company. So let's start to talk with a messy person, Giuseppe Piccone. Hi, Giuseppe. Hello, Nina. <laughs> so, I'm so happy we found the time again to talk. I'm so happy yes. to see each other in the February. But after yeah. that, this pandemic is happens and uh, yeah. our plan a little bit changed. But uh, I want yeah. to salute and I'm so happy to be healthy. And uh, let's continue to, to talk and to remember our good time. Yeah. So, Giuseppe, how you feel now? Let's start because you know this is everybody in a different and difficult situation. So, what you doing now? Are you starting in Neapol because you are directing now um, ballet company in Neapol, one of beautiful city in the world? So, and how are you feeling? And tell me about your time and position or what you're doing and how it was in this year in the Neapol. So, Nina, basically, uh, we had uh, in Italy, everybody had to stay home for uh, about three months, basically. And uh, fortunately, the 15th of June, uh, the, the theater, in Italy, they open, but not all of them. An example, La Scala didn't open yet because uh, in the north of Italy, the pandemic, pandemic situation is uh, not very well. But fortunately, in Napoli, on the south of Italy, it's, it's really okay at the moment, much better. So we open up and we start doing class. And then after one week, I start rehearsing a new uh, creation of a ballet that I'm making on uh, Four Seasons by Vivaldi, but nobody can touch themselves. So it's really strange to choreograph something where nobody can touch each other, but I worked a lot on it, and uh, the result, it's, it's uh, interesting, you know? It's really interesting. The 18th of July, we have a premiere here, outdoor, in Napoli, in uh, it's called uh, the Castle of Baia. It's on the on the Neapolitan Sea, and it's really beautiful, really, really beautiful. And uh, the season was going really well because we opened up with the new production of uh, of Midsummer Night Dream, and it was really wonderful. And then we had Nutcracker, my Nutcracker, and then you were with us because we did Don Quixote, and it was a huge, wonderful success for you, for me, for the company, for the whole city. But just the last show of Don Quixote, we got basically all together with the uh, Sovrintendente. And well, you know, we got this news that was truly, truly terrible. Everybody home, Everybody had to really, really be conscious about what they were doing, especially going out to make, you know, anything, going to the pharmacy, going to the supermarket, you know, really, really a strange situation. And on all this uh, pandemic uh, disaster, my mom, uh, start feeling more sick. Uh, she's uh, nearly uh, 80 years old. And, but she didn't get the, the coronavirus. She just you know, got more sick than normal. Let's put it this way. And with my brothers and my sisters, we really didn't know what to do. Because every time we would bring her to the hospital, they would tell us she cannot stay here. And we were saying to them, you know, but what we can do i mean we are not doctors you know so we need your help and at the end they said no i mean you have to do whatever 
but at home and um, it was really 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 hard you know now it's better because you know we we can go out we can take a car we can take her to the doctors you know to do uh, everything she needs to do but during those three months for me it was really a nightmare a truly nightmare yeah and thanks god please send big love to your mom and i, I hope Thank you. You. everything goes better giuseppe so now let's go a little bit step by step from beginning of your uh, uh life so tell me please because a lot of people know you what you're doing now but how you start i'm asking this question to everyone because i'm interesting myself why you decided italian very nice uh, i mean uh, like sports art country but how you start uh, ballet why you decided to go to ballet school it was it you know it's a strange uh, really strange situation because my dad you know was um uh, he he was um in the in the politi political uh, things in Italy, like uh, you know, uh, lawyers. You know, he was doing that in his life. And then my, I have um, three brothers uh, older than me. My first brother, he's ten years older than me. My sister, eight years older than me. And then my third brother, he's three years older than me. Uh, but they have nothing to do with uh, with uh, with art. They are in military uh, things. My sister also is married to a military guy. So nothing to do with ballet. So the thing is, was very simple. I was uh, basically uh, uh, dancing since I was little, you know, just dancing, you know, listening to music and I would dance. And then when I get, I got to eight, nine years old, um, uh, my brother who was uh, uh, 10 years older than me and my sister also, they were uh, 17 and he was 19. Uh, I was at a party with them. They brought me with them and uh, I started dancing and uh, in this party there was a, a girl who was a friend of my brother who had a little ballet school, mm. you know, and she went up to my brother and said, listen, I think he has something, you know, and my brother was like, but what? <laughs> something what? And she was like, something that I think you should bring him to my school. And he did, uh, it was 1986, you know, it was like a little bit before summer, like May. And 86, I was 10 years old by then. And uh, she said, um, let's, let's have him in the school for two weeks. And then I have to close because, you know, we have, uh, we, say we have summer break. And after two weeks, she just called my brother and said, listen, there is a, a ballet school, very famous, it's uh, Teatro San Carlo in Naples, and I think you should bring him. He has talent, he has something, you know? And Nina, that's how I got into the ballet school of Teatro San Carlo, because my brother did everything, you know? He applied for everything. I went to audition, and that's the first time I met Maestro Zarko Prebil, who was Maestro of uh, Vladimir Vasiliev, Maximova, you know, uh, big, uh, big names. And uh, that's how I got into ballet, basically. Oh my God, this is amazing. Amazing, really, your brother do this all the things. It's amazing. And uh, I think you was really spoiled child, right? Because you was... <laughs> 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 yeah, a little, yes, a little bit. <laughs> yes, yes. I, because I also a little spoiled child because I'm, uh, my, I have two older brothers, so, but I'm girl, but you are youngest brother. So I think but the thing is, Nina, it didn't last long because by the time I was 14 years old, I left home and I went to Rome in a school. And then when I was 16 years old, I was in France by myself. So no more spoiled, you know, <laughs> I was by myself. <laughs> yeah, exactly what I want to say to you, you know, uh, so a lot of people thinking our job is light and very easy or, or you are lucky or I'm lucky. But no. what I want to show to young ones, especially if they're listening to us, how hard it was to us to go step by step. Uh, what we 
my God, I'm, I, oh, I'm crying. Don't show to my parents and my grandmother I was crying, but I want to stay in the Moscow. And I think, so exactly what I want to ask you. After you go uh, to your school first in Neapel, then you move, you say, in the France. You was 14 years old? Yeah, because my, my director, he was the director here, Zarko Prebil. He uh, was also uh, directing an uh, academy in Rome. And when he left, he said to me, you, you should go to Baganova school. But my mom said, I will, I will not let him go. So he said to her, please, and to my brother, but please bring him to Rome. You know, I will be there and uh, I will give him a good teacher. And he did. So I went to Rome when I was 14 years old. And I have to say, Nina, I had a great time. You know, I was 14 years old. <laughs> I was in this gorgeous school in Rome, having fun every day, dancing, of course, and uh, going to school. But, you know, it was a great time. But it was so amazing that when I was 16 years old, I did, I did two ballet competition and the second one in uh, Positano. Um, uh, Pierre Lacotte uh, with Vittorio Tolenghi, this famous Italian journalist, they were watching the competition. And next day, Pierre Lacotte asked me, you know, can you come to join uh, Ballet National de Nancy? But, you know, I was 16 years old. I didn't finish school yet. So I was a little bit worried. Uh, but, you know, he insisted. And then at the end, I did join the company. I didn't finish my uh, school training. Uh, I joined the company when I was 16. And he started giving me loads of roles in France. And I have to say, Nina, that, that was really hard because... I was 16 years old. I didn't speak really well French, so I had to learn another language. I was by myself in an apartment, little apartment, of course. Uh, I had to do everything by myself. And I was only 16 years old, you know. It was really, really, like, mature, you know, to, to do something like that. Many people ask me, did you never think you would go, want, want to go back home? And I said, well, yes, of course. But, but, you know, next day I would go into the ballet studio and I liked so much what I was doing that I kept staying, you know? And how come you ended up with ABT? Because after a, a, a Ballet National de Nancy in France, I moved to English National Ballet in London. And with uh, Derek Tillin as a director, I had wonderful four years in the company. And by the time I was there, uh, Susan Jaffe used to come and, uh, and guest with the company. And, you know, once, twice, she said to me, you know, Giuseppe, I think the type of dancer that you are, I think you will be really good for American Ballet Theatre. So, you know, it got to a point that I said, okay, it's great to be in London, but why, why not try, you know? And that's what I did. I left the company and uh, I did the, uh, some summer guesting in Italy. And then in September, just truly, Lina, just, just like holiday, you know, I said to Susan, listen, I'm coming. You know, I'm just having a week, a, a week in uh, New York and can I come and take class? And she said, okay, okay, come, don't worry. So, you know, first day I was taking class and the teacher said to me, but are you coming tomorrow? And I said, yes, if he's okay, I can come tomorrow. And then next day, before class started, I see entering the studio, Kevin McKenzie, Georgina Parkinson, David Richardson, John me and I was like, oh, oh, uh, oops, something is going on here, you know? I mean, I basically understood, you know, they were there for me, you know? And so, you know, at the end of the class, Kevin called me and he said, uh, what your intention are, you know, what do you want to do? Uh, you left the English National Ballet, you were in Italy now, and I said, yeah, I have to go back because uh, I have a guesting 
with Nutcracker in Opera of Roma. And uh, I'm free from the end of November, beginning of December. And he said, well, that's good because in December, we're gonna do Cinderella in New Jersey. Uh, there is a new theater opening up. That was two, 2007. Yeah, 2007, I, I joined. Oh, sorry, no. 1997. I'm really yeah. sorry. <laughs> Nine... <laughs> No, no, no. Sorry, yeah. 1997, 1997, yeah. Because yeah, I left uh, I left EMB in 97 in June, and this happened in December 97, yeah. So I, I, I started with ABT like that, you yeah. know, and when I, I joined the company, he, uh, in 10 days, Nina, he said to me, uh, by the way, you are doing the premiere of The Prince. And I said, but I don't know the ballet, Kevin. And he said, well, you, you, will, you will do it. You have 10 days. And it was Ben Stevenson production. And uh, that's how I, I basically ended up with ABT. <laughs> so, Giuseppe, I, um, I want to say this. Uh, so I remember you very well. Uh, because I already danced in the ABT. Um, so I was guest guest ballerina there all this period so and i see very very handsome very talented young italian boy is in the company coming so and then somehow of course it's big different in our age i was not thinking to dance with you because mostly i dance with julio boca with uh, uh, manuel carreño mm, so and uh, one day we was casting together Mm, for Le Corsair, if you remember. Yeah. So oh, this, yeah. <laughs> so but Nina, we still, I supposed not to be with you. Basically, I was not supposed to be in a cast at all. It was Anne-Marie Holmes, you know, the choreographer. She came to watch one class. And um, for Conrad, she said to Kevin, you know, because if you remember Nina, the names, the names were out also. I think, I don't remember who was Conrad already cast. I don't remember if he was Julio, I don't remember. But anyway, uh, she saw me in class and she said to Kevin, you know, this afternoon I want him to the rehearsal for Conrad. And Kevin was a little bit like, what you know because i joined the company was i think not more than four months four or five months you know and so she said yeah i want him to come to this rehearsal so i remember julio did this first entrance and angel and then maxim belosarkovsky and then ethan stiefel this was the cast and jose carino and then she looked at me um, with uh, Sergei Berishnoy, he was there too. Yeah, and yeah. he said, can you try the entrance? Mm. And I was like, yeah, I'm going to try the entrance. And I did it. And at the end, you know, she just looked at Kevin and said, we need to go and talk to the office. And next day, came, uh, Kevin came to me and said, listen, you will be first cast of Conrad. And I was shocked, you know, because, you know, I was truly shocked. And he said, you would be dancing with Nina Nanyashvili. And I was like, whoa, okay. I was 21, Nina. I was a kid. You know what I mean? And so um, I remember I was freaking out because I was like, my God, you know, this big ballerina, big stars, you know, how she's going to, you know, react because I don't know. But I remember I was watching one of your first show in, um, in ABT season at the Met and uh, you were doing Dines one and that was beautiful. Yeah. And then next day you had the first rehearsal with me and um, you know, you came in, you were very sweet, you know, big star, very sweet. Uh, Anne-Marie said, I think you should start with a bedroom pas de deux. And we started. Uh, you basically right away said he's very good partner. So, and he's intelligent. So from that day, 
that was it. You know, between me and you, it was first love. That was it. You know? Yeah, this is, you're absolutely right. I can say uh, you're really young. I just see you like really, your few months was in the ABT. But for ballerinas, it's so important when partner has good hands. And yeah. I really feel you have good fa good hands. And I, I say to Anna Marie, the time Tatiana Terechova was uh, Burejno's um, wife there to helping us also. And I say, so I'm sure we can make it good performance. So we can, I can teach him how I like and everything. And we did very good pirouettes and I feel your arms was very comfortable. And uh, I say, okay, let's just work. And it was really, really wonderful. I can say what I like about you. You was really musical and uh, really carry about ballerina. Carry. Yes, but it's very, very- Nina, important. do you remember that lift going up and then I have to throw you down? Do you remember the opening night public went nuts? No, no, I don't remember what. The, the candle, the candle <laughs> one in the bedroom part though. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. You know, the, the, uh, I had, uh, you know, they showed me a video and you were really like this, like a really true candle. And then I dropped you down and it was magic. You know, it was magic. It was such a, a wonderful way, good way, right? Oh, yeah, it was beautiful. Yeah, yeah I thought it's something, something was wrong and I don't remember. No, no, I think especially this part of the day, it's, it's uh, quite a lot of lifts and everything and it was really, really good done. And Giuseppe, then uh, how long time you stay in the ABT? Four years and a half. Four in the, yeah. So this is not really long. Why you decided... No. Why you decided to move? Uh, and the other question, I also remember we, uh, we did it a really good performance together, Get the Parisien. I was really like... Oh, that was nice. Yeah. That and was great. In Japan also, if you remember. Yeah, that was just great. Yeah, Wonderful first time. time also, first time, I never did this performance before. And I really enjoy it because it's play and together. Yeah. I think I really yeah, I mean, yeah, since ballet, it was and beautiful costumes is uh, Lacroix costumes, if you remember. Beautiful, yeah. beautiful. So, and this is let's go back and continue. Why you decided to leave uh, ABT? I mean, so it's quite uh, one of best company in United States. A lot of attention you have. Uh, you are just start to coming up, and suddenly you decided to leave. Why? Oh, Nina, you know, um, there were moments that I felt that I wanted to go back to Europe, you know, and that's what I did. And um, uh, I, it was really important for me uh, to be able to go back to Europe. The training is different in Europe. And, uh, you know, it, it was different for somebody like you who would go to ABT and guess. It's different. For me, that I was somebody who was in a company, the training, the way of working every day was much different from Europe. You know, I was coming from Italy, France, and England, and I could see the difference. It was very much different, too much for me. So I needed to go back to Europe and be able to have teacher who would teach you everything you know from one little bit to another to the head to everything you know i felt a little bit that because i was talented they just throw me on stage you know sometimes and without even knowing how you know and uh, i understood very quickly that that was not the way to go on stage especially when you debut a role you know you need to be coached. And I was really well coached with English National Ballet. I had Derek Dean, I had Wojta Blowski, I had David Wall. You know, I had really wonderful teacher. And I needed to have this kind of coaching, you know. So when I left EBT, I went straight to Royal Ballet to do um, Swan Lake with uh, Anthony Dowell production. And then I was invited by uh, Vienna Staatsoper in, uh, in Wien. 
And uh, I felt really good there because uh, one of my teachers when I was uh, young in Italy was Yannick Bocquin. He was a principal dancer in Dutch opera in Berlin. So when I went to Vienna Staatsoper, he was there as a maître du ballet, you know. And I said, well, he can really, really follow me. And that's what happened. I stayed as a guest artist with Vienna Staatsoper for six years with uh, Yannick Bocquin as my maître du ballet and Renato Zanella was uh, the director. And I had also the opportunity to dance more in Italy, you know, so I started working a lot again with Teatro San Carlo in Naples, which is my theater, and then Opera of Roma, Arena di Verona, and then Palermo, and then Florence, and you know, it was, it was really good for me to be able to, to get back to Europe and get back to my, my way of dancing. Not that the one of ABT was wrong, it's just that I felt a little bit too much pushed. I was very young, Nina. I mean, by the time I was dancing on Yegin, I was not even 24 years old, you know? On Yegin is a role that you should be a little bit older. You they gave it to now. me. <laughs> you can do now. Sorry? You can yeah. do now. <laughs> yeah. You know, I was, I was very happy to do this role. But, you know, if I tell you that I had the coaching and the, the time to do it, no. No, because I, especially me, I even didn't get a stage rehearsal. I did it without a stage rehearsal. And as a debut, you cannot do that. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. This is ABT, ABT one of uh, difficult... Um, uh, yeah. Because yeah. Because it's, uh, everything is so expensive, and, you know. Yeah, the, it's... And the schedule and like... This. Like a roller coaster. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is uh, really hard in the ABT, but it's an uh, amazing, amazing stage, this met, met, uh, met Metropolitan Opera. Oh, yeah. Oh, amazing yeah. audience, oh, I mean, I think it's an amazing. amazing audience, you know, when yeah, yeah. Where, like, you, are, uh, you are waiting, waiting when you go on stage, like horse, I just say one day, like horse, you know, like the whole horse, and then you are run. You come on stage, and this is energy of audience and uh, artist energy. It's really amazing. And, um, but I understood what I mean because uh, exactly, I was guessing that I have this of a different situation. Uh, but tell me, uh, when that young age, you are so free, and you don't stay in the one place, like one company. It's not difficult for you also, and all the time traveling, do different classes, and you are doing with different coach. Because, you know, I am start traveling, and I am start, um, like, guesting much up when I was 27, 28 years old. Before, I was mostly in Russia. Uh, so how you think this? It uh, was difficult for you? It was right? Well, you know, I was not, not so much uh, younger than you. You started when 27, 28. I started when I was 25, basically, because I, I left New York when I was nearly 25 years old, you know. So, but, you know, uh, Vienna Stadt Super, I was there for like six months, you know, so I, I had like a home base. Mm. And okay. then all the other theaters, I had to stay for one month, like in Rome for uh, Sleeping Beauty or in other places, three weeks. So I, I enjoyed it, Nina, you know, because um, sometimes staying in one place, for me, it started getting a little bit... Uh, um, well, not boring, but a little bit, you know, like the same thing all the time. And I don't know, I felt like I want to experience things because you know very well, our career, it's really short, you know, we don't have much time. So I didn't want to find myself dancing one Albrecht a year, you know. No, I wanted to experience more and, 
and have more freedom to go around and be able to dance more. And that's what I did. I mean, when you called me to go with you in, uh, in, um, in Japan, we did 11 shows, you know, and every night I remember my Tchaikovsky padded was getting better and better and better, you know? So, you know, this for me was very important. And then we did other things together. We did a wonderful uh, production of uh, Ratmansky. Yeah, uh, I about, yeah, I want to do about this, uh, Giuseppe, and, uh, especially because it was incredible, I think. And be, uh, you know, this was like, my God, it was a gala. I want to explain to people. And uh, my partner, Sergei Feeling, with, with whom we start working with uh, Alexei Ratmansky. Uh, and it was planned to, we need to perform with him. Suddenly, even I don't know what was wrong, but I think it was wrong because Bolshoi not let him go with us to dance together or something. And I have very difficult situation because it was really short time and I call you and I say, Giuseppe, because I know you have very good brain. <laughs> I mean, you are catching <laughs> so quickly. Yeah, this is you were calling me a, a little Macintosh computer. <laughs> <laughs> I just say, Giuseppe, you are amazing because I know you are learning so quickly. Can you fly down and dance with me? Uh, the book, uh, but it was Leia, Ballet, this is Leia, Ratmansky's new work. And you say, yeah. and I say, tomorrow <laughs> and i remember you fly down to moscow and we have like two or three days before the performance and you were yeah. sick do you remember you were sick yeah you yeah. had high temperature like 38 i had high temperature and you sent me a doctor and uh, and uh, and you were like how are we gonna do this and i was like don't worry, tomorrow I'll be fine. <laughs> no, you, say, you say, I say, okay, stay at home. He said, Nina, just one day, I will be at home. I will um, sleep. And then tomorrow I will be in the studio. My God, I was so nervous about you, but it's amazing, Giuseppe. You learned and we did a really beautiful performance. And I still have this Good. video. Beautiful. You remember, yeah, it was very nice. It's really nice, beautiful performance. So, and thank you, I just said to you that time, and now when I watch this video, and it's incredible, just two days we have to learn this. Yeah. Not usual, I mean, uh, ballet. It's uh, uh, like in incredible, interesting story. This is like, I, I call oh, it yeah. Jewish Romeo and Juliet. Yeah, 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 yeah. And that you don't, uh, don't remember, but I can explain you. That time in Russia, nobody was talking about Kabbalah, about this thing. It was like um, nearly impossible. So, and mm -hmm. like we, sh we show this on stage so after so long time. And uh, this role, what I play, Leia, it was uh, one of famous role, one of Russians, uh, very famous drama actress. Uh, ah, okay. I mean, everything was really nervous for me because I want to make it my own roles of this Leia, you know, for Dibor. Mm -hmm. It's amazing. It was really nice and I'm so thankful to Alexei. He did this ballet for me. Yeah, he did wonderful. Yeah, and by the way, you know, my last performance in the Bolshoi, it was Rises, my Rises Strychkova's uh, uh, memory day, so I'm dance Leia in the Bolshoi. Oh, yes. yeah. With Andre, That's very uh, nice. Uh, not Andre Warp. Now, now it was Alexei's jubilee. I dance with Andre Warp, but I dance with also Bolshoi's um, partner uh, Volchkov. Alex, uh, so it's it's young. I dance very little with him. Just uh, I invited him to dance with me in the Belisi, and then we went to dance together. The show. So, and Nina, there was another thing that I had to dance in one day. Was uh, your gala at the Bolshoi where I was dancing Tchaikovsky Padre with Paloma? Yes. And you were dancing a ballet, I think, was Ratmansky, where Dream. everybody had. Yes. Dream, up, uh, uh, dream about Japan. That one. 
Yes. That one I learned in half day. I don't know who got sick. I don't remember. But I remember that I had to learn everything in half day. Yes. Uh, exactly. This was like uh, Dimitri Gudano who need to dance yes. um, this uh, role. He was sick. He cannot dance. And it just, you know, it's so difficult when it's new ballet and uh, you don't have anybody to replace. It was staged like each of person. It was Alexei Fadechev, Tatiana Terekhova, myself, Sergei Filin, Ina Petrova, and must be Gudano. Gudano was sick and you jump in. I remember I was asking Sergei Filin, can you please help me? Because I don't know where I'm going. The Bolshoi is a big stage and I can get lost here, okay? <laughs> yeah, and and uh, uh, if you remember, Andre Uwara was with us also. And, you the know, big pole, yeah. yeah. And then we, it was a really difficult count because it's drum. Uh, we talk about this ballet, about Sergei and Andre. It was so funny, their, their feeling about this ballet. Exactly, it was my gala and uh, you just jump in, in. This was amazing, amazing. So you see what I want to say, uh, Giuseppe, to young one. Uh, life is very different. Life is lot of, lot of, uh, how we say, um, surprises. You never yeah. know, like you, like me, like, with whom I talk it, with Julio, with Angel, or with the feeling, or with Andre Uvaro. Everybody say this some stories, how they're jumping in their performance, and they became, mm, I mean, it was. I had fun, I really had fun, Nina. I remember our gala, your gala in Japan, as one of the best tour of my career, because I was the, I think, the only not Russian, okay? Yeah, yeah. So, every night with the boys, with Sergei, with Uvarov, with uh, Begololotsev, I think was his name. Belagal um, Dimitri Belagalotsev, yeah. Dimitri. And then with Yuri Posukov, I mean, we were going around the city. Uh, sometimes we would go and do the massage things and then sometimes we would drink and I had so much fun. Oh my God, you know, the, and I, you know, it, for me it was all new, all interesting and was such a wonderful atmosphere between everybody. Uh, just, and I remember you dancing the Rosa Dajo with the four of us as Cavaliers. Yeah. So and every night, you were amazing. <laughs> you were amazing. You know, every night. You know, Giuseppe, it's, I'm so thankful to Japanese, uh, um, Japan Arts Corporation, because videos, what I have, they are made it by live performance. And I'm so thankful to them, because, you know, our time, it was not Zoom, not Instagram, not Facebook. Yeah. So Nothing. this was what just uh, recording, and I don't have any special recording. Just uh, Japan Arts Corporation do this my galas, and I'm I'm so happy we have this for my prince, and this is still still in YouTube. Somebody put it in YouTube. It's incredible, and I remember each of day you are joking about my ballads, each of you. So oh yeah. <laughs> Every night was different, and every night Nina would stay and stay. We were like, okay, she's on. <laughs> oh, I had a great time. I had a great time. You know, thank you so much to remind this uh, for me, because I'm so, so thankful all my colleagues now, like you, either they are directing company, uh, I mean, uh, Andre Uvarov also, Sergei Filig also was directing company. Yuri Posokov now is a choreographer, beautiful ballets he do and very nice creation. Wonderful person and very talented choreographer. Alexei Ratmansky, first time, but now he's big choreographer. You know, this is, I, I can uh, forget it, somebody, this is somebody goes, somebody comes in the My Gala, but all of us, we are still friendly. We are sharing our information, our heart to each other. And this is absolutely amazing about our art. 
And I'm so thankful to all of you because everybody always say to me, oh, we remember it was fantastic atmosphere and it was very friendly. It yeah, was like, oh yeah. Yeah, it was not like, oh, one gala, just somebody goes. So we go together to dinner and we have together like feeling. And this is amazing. It's... Uh, and Nina, I remember, I remember, you know, uh, one night we went in Sapporo we went to this gorgeous, wonderful uh, sauna place and uh, there was this uh, sort of a big, big swimming pool, a hot one, really cold, and one was really, really, really cold. So I, I was, you know, very nice. I went to the hot one <laughs> and the cold, I was like, uh, not really, okay? And then I look, and I see Yuri Posakov going underneath really, really cold water. And then Sergei, the same thing. And then Dimitri, and then Uvarov. And they were looking at me, they were like, come. And I was like, no, <laughs> no. I'm from Italy. You say, I'm from Italy. <laughs> I was like, forget it. I'm not coming. And they were like, you will feel better. And I was like, no, I'm going to die. OK, I'm going to die. And they were like, come, you have to go underneath, get up, and you will feel good. Yeah. I did it. I did it. You know, and that was it. You know, I trust them, and I will never forget this kind of thing. Yeah. If today you would ask me to enter a really cold, you know, thing, I would say, are you crazy? No way. I did it because they were like supporting, you know, like big brothers. Like, well, you can do it. Come on, get up. You know, I had a great time. It was great. Absolutely wonderful. So I, I will say to them this story. I don't, I don't know about this. So Giuseppe, this is wonderful. You have very interesting career and uh, a lot of guesting and a lot of partners. You learn a lot of, from different people because it's also different yeah. experience, you know, when mm -hmm. you go to different places. So, and a little bit now, let's go about today. So, mm -hmm. um, Italy, it's wonderful country, it's my love place. Uh, my first love is Italy because it was my first city, no, first country when I go with Bolshoi, you know. <gasps> and amazing, three months, we was touring in Italy, three months. Wow. We see everything, my God, all cities, and we dance together. Uh, I mean, that time, something with Andre, something with Alexei, uh, but uh, I was not ballerina at that time. I was dancing roles, but not uh, all the time. And I have time to go and uh, look these incredible cities and monuments and uh, Raffaele, Leonardo and Michelangelo, what I'm reading before. <gasps> and it was like a lot of experience in my life. I'm, I, 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 this was Soviet time, don't forget it. This was like um, 82, first season I was in the Bolshoi. So it's amazing, first my season. And what I want to now ask question, lot of beautiful stages, lot of beautiful theaters, but how it's to work in Italy? I always have this, oh, it's real difficult to work to Italy, lot of problems, unions, this and this and that. Every time I work to Italy, even La Scala or with you, everything's so good. <laughs> everything like clock. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because La Scala is one of the best, of course, the best company that we have in Italy. And you came to Naples uh, with me where I really uh, changed a lot of things in uh, four years, you know, that I was uh, director. Uh, Alexei told me when he came that six years before, when uh, you guys did uh, Don Quixote, that you had much more problems. Uh, and this time it was easier, you know? And especially the company level was different. The union was less problematic, you know. Uh, what can I say, Nina? I mean, the, the bureaucracy in Italy, it's a little bit, um, 
old, like really from the past, you know? I think they should renovate the lore. Whatever a dancer needs to do, he needs to do it without somebody telling him, you are not, a, you cannot be in the studio because it's not the time. I mean, this doesn't happen uh, outside of Italy. In England, in, uh, in Russia, in America, you know, if you want to be in a studio and rehearse by yourself, you can do these kind of things, you know. Now, things are getting better. In Naples, it's me. Eleonora Bagnato, it's in Rome, you know. Uh, I think Manuel Legri soon will take over La Scala. So I think it's a good moment. But we had many companies in Italy. We had La Scala, we had Arena di Verona, we had Venice, we had Teatro Reggio di Torino, we had Bologna, we had Florence, and then of course Opera Roma is still there, Naples is still there, then there was Catania, and then there was Palermo. But now, but unfortunately now, all of these companies are gone. Only La Scala, Rome, San Carlo in Naples and Palermo are surviving well, you know. More than eight theaters were closed with ballet, and that's not nice. Yes, this is definitely, I can say, Alexei Fadechev, who staged two, three times uh, in the Neapolis, he really was happy to work this time with you, with company. I mean, I mean, you know, where you are, you are some, you are artists, you know, when you are feeling good and now you are choreograph yourself and uh, when you are guesting in one thing, when you are inside company, this is other things. So, but generally, uh, so I see this was really good work. Alexei Fadechev and Tatiana Rastarkova did a really good job. I was just like little bit uh, helping this time. It was just like uh, our uh, costumes and decoration from uh, State Ballet of Georgia because we also have Alexei's production of Don't You. So uh, this is, uh, I think it's fantastic collaboration. What I really love to continue, Giuseppe, and uh, today especially, uh, we're all in a difficult situation, right? Because of this pandemic and all these things, and I think we really needed government support because art is the most difficult situation today. And I, I hope uh, your new intendant, who is comes uh, to Neapel, will r really support ballet. And I hope we can, con we need to continue to do a lot of uh, productions, maybe together to help each other. At least it's my dream and my hope and my <laughs> what I say. I think, Nina. I think that in. Uh next year no meaning 2021 no it's not going to be possible but 2022 i'm 100 percent sure that by a there we're going to do it absolutely nice to hear uh, i understood this is uh, uh, next year is uh, difficult for everyone because we um all changing schedule you know this so and even we don't know exactly how it will be what we are we perform in september or not or something so but i'm really looking forward because this is one of my favorite ballet to perform and uh, i've learned a lot of things in russia from uh, one of uh, best uh, ballerina this is which was like simeonova and uh, raisa uh, so I'm really look forward to to see our our collaboration. And Giuseppe, I know this is maybe I ask this question for everyone, but you know this is very important. What you want to say to young one? What you want to say to our audience? What you want to say just to, to somebody about art and today's situation? How we need to continue? Oh, I think, Nina, you know, when you have a really strong passion, uh, you will be able to continue no matter what, you know. So I think you have to believe in really what you feel and never give up. If you really like this kind of art, which is ballet, I think you have to go straight on for your 
way, you know, and don't let anybody disturb you because uh, I know it's a difficult moment. But, you know, my dad, who's 90 years old, 90, he's, you know, he's seen a lot of things. He told me, uh, I've seen the war, I've seen so many other pandemic moments. You know, it's life. It's life. And things go like this. So once it's good, once it's not good, once it's good, once it's not good, it's life. You cannot have everything wonderful. So the only thing is to be able to learn how to deal with things that are good or are bad. It's important to learn how to deal with them. And then I think, you know, your passion will survive. Absolutely great. And I think my dad also 19 years old and he still want to go to, he asked me question, when you start to perform, you know, I want, I miss ballet so much. I want to go to watch your young dancer ballerina. And this is amazing, you know, when that age, people still wanted to do something and they have this passion energy after what you say exactly how difficult life they have. And uh, thank you so much to be, talk with me today. And I hope, pleasure. hope so everybody who listen to me, they will be very, very um, interesting to talk because it's positive. Positive is always, uh, it's uh, important. And especially today in our time. And good luck for you. Good luck for... Спасибо большое. What you have in the, your mind and uh, God bless you. And what I think and we see today how important is family and friends. Mm. So let's do today again. Salute to family. To Salute. Salute. And of course, art. Because art, art. is our big family. Yes. Thank you. Spasiba, Nina. Spasiba. Grazie, grazie. Didi Madloba, Didi Madloba. Salute tutti. Ciao. Ciao, Nina. Thank you. Grazie, grazie. Thank you so much. <laughs>